Hi, I'm Krista McGill reporting for richgirlnetwork.tv and we're here tonight for the recorded in Hollywood event, the award-winning musical play. Keep watching richgirlnetwork.tv. Eric, are you excited about tonight? Super excited. It's so funny because I just found out that this was happening today. So when I found out through an email from our stage manager, I was like, how cool is it that all of Hollywood is coming to have another opening night with us today, which uh, I'm really excited to share it with everybody. Yeah. You're you performing, aren't you, again tonight? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We've been open. We've been running for about three. This is our third week running. It's been an awesome experience. The audiences have really loved it. I was with the show last year when we were at the 99 Seat Theater, so to be able to bring it back to the Kirk Douglas has been an amazing experience. And I'm really excited that we get an opportunity to just keep on telling our story, you know. What's the most exciting part about telling your story? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I think because of the, the climate of what's happening in today's society, just being able to look back 58 years and see how far we've come in terms of integration and, and community and activism but how much further we have to go in terms of just standing together as a community and knowing that one person's idea can really spearhead that and one person's belief in a dream can really change a community you know yeah I think a lot has changed has that within the music industry and for sure yeah and I definitely think that um, just the way that it's just with technology and stuff, I think it's really in, it's interesting the the leaps and bounds that have happened in the music industry in itself. Just just in terms of technology and how you can just reach people through a text message, through a Twitter, through a you know all the stuff that you can do online that was so not even existing in 1948, 1950s, um, and all of the the massive amount of people that you can reach just by touching a button, you know. I feel like obviously there's like a massive more audience range now for you guys because of that reach. So you do, I'm sure you have a huge fan base. Yeah, I, which I I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> um, it's been a, it's been a it's been a real pleasure being able to reach out to people on social media through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, and just sharing images and sharing ideas and and truths about what we're doing here and getting people actually to come see the show just by reaching out to them on social media. So it's been really cool. Thank yeah. you so much, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. You can find me everywhere on Instagram, Twitter, Vine, Snapchat, at Eric B. Anthony. And I'm also at ericbanthony.com. Okay, Thomas, so are you looking forward to tonight? I'm definitely looking forward to tonight. The audience has so far been just so great, and it's so nice. Something really special about playing real live people, you know. It, it, it gets you nice and pumped up. Yeah. And it is a total different experience, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes. Totally, totally different experience. Uh, there's more at stake when they're real people, you know, like you feel a certain, a deeper level of responsibility to make sure you get it right. Again. And what do you love about music? Uh, I love the connectivity of music. I think music and art in general have the ability to really unite us. You know, there are people who disagree on many things but love the same music, and I think there's something really great about that. It really, and it's, and the memories that come along with music, you know, that like you can play a song from my childhood and I go right back to being seven years old in my parents' car listening to that song, you know. And it brings that huge connection with people and families and friends through music. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, I keep it pretty simple. On Instagram, I'm at Tommy Hobson, T-O-M-M-Y-H-O-B as in boy, S-O-N. Uh, Twitter is also at Tommy Hobson, and Facebook is Thomas Hobson. So, nice nice and easy. Wilkie, tell me, what character are you playing tonight? Uh, my character is Jesse Belvin, and uh, the big claim to fame for him is he wrote the song Earth Angel. So I'm really excited to get to sing that in the show. And what are you most looking forward to about tonight? Uh, a combination of the audience. I'm really excited that you know there's some celebrity guests and actually getting to perform the show again. It's just an honor to really pay tribute to these people who actually existed. And that's kind of the unique thing about doing a show like this. These were real people who influenced and, and affected the community. So I'm really honored to get to play this role. The wonderful thing about the day and age that we live in is that there's so much research available online at your fingertips. So I was able to watch some YouTube videos and listen to some of his recordings, and it was just overwhelming, the inspiration that came from that. Uh, at Wilkie Ferguson, W-I-L-K-I-E-F-E-R-G-U-S-O-N, on Instagram and on Twitter. Glory, are you excited about tonight? Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm glad I finally get to see it live and and I know they've been working really hard so 
we'll we'll get to see it in in its all its glory tonight. So it's good to have that connection as well with the audience being live and everything like that, isn't it? Absolutely. I, I just I've seen some of the rehearsals, so I finally get to to see it live. So it's it's really really great. I know my brother he worked really hard on it along with um, Michael Donnelly too, who uh, did some incredible writing on it. And Lou Spitzer came in and. And I know his job, he has a job of making it basically Broadway ready. And I think that he was, from the rehearsal so far, I think he's done a really great job in that. And um, this morning was pretty exciting. We got to receive uh, from Councilman um, a pretty big honor. Uh, we received the uh, Dolphins of Hollywood Square on Vernon and Central this morning. That, gave, that was given to us uh, from the councilman and from the city of Los Angeles. So now it's officially Vernon and Central is Dolphins of Hollywood Square. So pretty exciting. That is awesome. Well, congratulations. That's a huge, huge achievement, you know, and it's not easy to get that. So great work. Thank, thank you. I think it was probably the work of, of, uh, of course, my, my grandfather, but um, also uh, people within the family working together with the city and, and just, just wonderful. I hope you enjoyed the red carpet and all the excitement that went on tonight because I sure did. Keep watching richgirlnetwork.tv.